Oh, interesting. That's... Well, that's our backup for when the camera is not detected, and it sure isn't. Hold on one second. Let's see why it's not picking up my camera. Please enjoy this lovely view of Arthur. Oh, I do some troubleshooting here. Why are you not seeing my camera? Oh, you're hearing my microphone, which is, you know, arguably the more important thing. And we get to play around with wires. Who doesn't like playing around with wires? All right, I hear a boodink. Hey, better. Thanks. I figured that would be a that would be the kind of backup image that people wouldn't mind, you know. All right. Well, we might have to immediately bring the stream down and back up because even though I think it's being recognized, it's the kind of thing where uh, if it's not. Uh, if the device hasn't been recognized when OBS starts, OBS won't, um, like, see it after the fact. Let's see if I can get it to manually see it here. Let's try this. Hey, Bob. Do that. Oh, ah ha ha. We fixed the kick. Hello, everyone. We got there. All right. Welcome to Monday. With all of the problems that that entails. There we go. And there we go. Uh, so, uh, hi, Jasmine. Would you like to be the second cat on the stream, sort of technically? No, you're just going to stand up there on top of the computer and look all regal and act like you had nothing to do with the webcam being weird. That's fine. Excuse me. Hi, y'all. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Uh, we're uh, playing more Little Goody Two Shoes, as is evidenced by the, the game down there down there in the corner. One day I'll remember that my my webcam is mirrored, but not this day. Um, so, uh, oh, so that's a Miurine. They're such good friends. Yeah, that's, you know, roommates even. Um, actually, I don't know that that ever happens in the show specifically. Uh, oh my god, they weren't roommates. Anyway, um, but yeah, we're playing more Little Goody Two Shoes today. That's an excellent segue, actually, which is most of why I wore this. Um, last time out, we, uh, we investigated the windmill and found the horrors. Uh, more of the horrors, I guess. There were some wall hands um, that that uh, tried to bar us from more knowledge. Uh, we found a scrap with a note, possibly from Father Hans, uh, detailing um, the Christian church's history of essentially... Uh, denouncing and then appropriating local pagan deities and uh, uh, reskinning them essentially as uh, uh, saints or other such things, uh, in this case Valperga. Um, and then talking about Granahala, Granny Hala essentially having made a deal with something in the woods that the letter writer does not believe to have been Valperga, but rather another entity, uh, which remains a mystery. Uh, but that uh, the letter writer is concerned for Elise's sake and is apparently investigating this. So we are like the second per we're we're doing an investigation that is a follow up to someone else's investigation, um, which is is I think kind of a fun uh, a fun way to be learning things and a good excuse to be finding notes with details on things, which is usually an area that is sort of left unexplained in video games is. Why, why are these notes left around explaining everything that's happening? But it's like, if somebody else was doing an investigation, then, you know, having a chronicle journal of that it makes a lot of sense, especially if you're concerned about, like, that um, something bad happening to you before you're able to complete that investigation. It behooves one to write that down, um, as, uh, as, as may have happened, given that when we started this investigation, we found, like, a monk's habit uninhabited and then we're set upon by a bone frog so we might be finding these notes in the reverse order time will tell um after that we went home and went to bed and then everything was fine oh except for the fact that we went out into the woods um as elise was uh interesting interested in finding out if the the promise of a uh an entity who could grant her wishes of 
uh, fortune and a life of comfort were true. So she went to the woods, accompanied by Rose and Marine, initially. Um, but then Rose and Marine ran ahead, and they lost sight of each other briefly. They seemingly were reunited once crossing into the woodlands um, and met Murim, the Golden Crow, who uh, put Elise through a trial, essentially, um, of, of running through a dangerous gauntlet of a wheat field. Where, at the end, it was revealed that the Rosen Marine that we were uh, traveling with was none other than the old hag in disguise, um, the eponymous witch uh, that everyone has been up in a tizzy about this whole time, um, who referred to the grove as her own uh, and apparently was was unwelcome in the eyes of the crows uh, in, in all of this. But we did get the Wheat Testament, which is we can turn into one of the three gifts uh, by some process or other. But we've got one of the, the components that we need to potentially get ourselves the, the, the fortune and fame, and I'm sure that'll be totally fine. Um, but yeah, Rosamarine uh, told us that apparently when she tried to enter, enter the woodlands, the, like, uh, path became overgrown and she was barred entry, and I'm sure that's totally good and normal. Um, and then she just essentially uh, went home with the flock. Um, so she got the flock out of there. I think I made that joke at the time, and I'm gonna make it again. Also, we got chased out of there by a gargantuan Mary Lloyd. That was just sort of off to the side of things. They needed a, a, a random, like, cryptid to chase us out of the woods. And there'd been a whole thing with uh, Yugen's horses being hag-ridden and, like, frightened to, to death, so... The horse imagery, I guess, made sense. Um, but hey, the important thing is Wheat Testament, and it's Wednesday morning, and the sun is shining, and everything is fine. Uh, and I expect that this will mostly be a more lighthearted sort of a day by comparison. So it'll be a, a good uh, a good sw pendulum swing in the other direction uh, for, for the most part. Probably still some horror, so we'll get to that in a moment. Let me catch up with y'all. Amongst Yuna Habit. Very good. That's, yeah. Uh, set upon by a bone frog. You really have a knack with phrases. Thank you. Bone frog, I think I have to credit uh, Al with. Uh, she did a wonderful job of, of really encapsulating that grotesque. Uh, but uh, uh, it chased us around in a circle, scuttling with its trail of, let's call it blood, because that's a comforting thought uh, behind it. Um, sad that that's a comforting thought, but it, 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 in the, in the, in the grand scheme of fluids, I would rather it be blood than worse things. What could be dangerous in a wheat field? Jack Garland? Very good. Very good. Um, but yeah, so yeah, we had a, we had a fun night out in the woods with the witch and then we came home and we're fine and we're, we lost a little bit of hair but uh, it was, uh, you know, all told, um, we, we came out all the better for it. Do you have the right comestibles for your black bailer today or whatever that business is? Oh, that's a good point. Um, I think Muffy wants a Lepkuen, and I think we kept one in reserve. I think. I think that's the order of the day. We'll find out. We'll find out if I'm right. Worst case scenario, our, our suspicion will go up, and I'm pretty sure... We have none at the moment, so we can afford to take an L in that category. It, absolute worst case, but I think that's what we're at. <laughs> Lebkuin, she's at the church. Yeah, I, I love, I love that Lebkuin is both a character in the game and one of the food items, um, because obviously the girl is named after the treat. Um, it's just, it's, it's adorable. Uh, it's like having somebody named Cookie in the game, uh, which is just, just, it's just, it's cute. Blackmail is an ugly word. I prefer extortion. The X makes it sound cool. <laughs> I, I think there was an exchange at some point where uh, Elise accuses Muffy of begging and Muffy says something like, no, no, I'm not begging at all. And, I'll, and in my head, I'm sitting there going, no, 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 this is extortion. It's completely different. <laughs> it's like begging is a whole other art form. This is, I have leverage. <laughs> uh, all right, before we get into... What should be, like I said, on the whole, I think, a more lighthearted uh, stream this particular night. Let's get into content warnings. I realize that goes against the thing that I just said, but there are still some things to be wary of, uh, even on a lighthearted night, because there will be some, uh, as I posted on Mastodon, a, sous a sousson of horror um, uh, uh, woven through some of the otherwise uh, uh, 
kind of warm and fuzzies tonight. So let's talk about them. Um, brief full screen flashes this game does have. We definitely saw some of those last time. Uh, I don't know if there will be more of them tonight, but I wanted to forewarn in case. I don't have a very good memory of exactly when those happen in the game, but they do definitely happen. So I wanted to forewarn on that. Um, blood and gore uh, definitely come up. They are uh, fairly pixelated or, or kind of just represented by like the whole screen goes red, but it's still clear what is being implied. So it's important to, to forewarn on that because, you know, it's you know what's happening, narratively speaking. Um, dead animals also, uh, we've, we've seen, um, the, the, uh, the deer previously. I don't know that we'll have to deal with that tonight, but again, just in case I'm wrong, wanted to, to forewarn on that front. Uh, in terms of other themes, uh, there are a number of, uh, areas with the townsfolk and their treatment of Elise, uh, and a number of other characters around her, um, that very clearly and intentionally parallel anything from homophobia and misogyny to xenophobia. Uh, as well as just kind of general bullying um, that comes up in the game. And I think, again, a lot of that is, is done uh, very much on purpose to kind of uh, uh, showcase what uh, Elise is having to, to deal with in her life. So I wanted to, to forewarn on that front. For a more detailed list of warnings, see the, see the doesthedogdie.com entry for Little Goody Two Shoes or click the link in our CW tag there. We'll take you to a more comprehensive list of all the stuff uh, for this particular game. Elise, have you been eating Lebkuen? No, just bread. <sighs> very good. That's very good. On that lovely note, and it's it's honestly quite apt, let's let's get into the game. Uh, I need to turn my controller back on for that. And hip, and in we go. Hip, whoop, hip, whoop. I need to actually select the game. Little goody two shoes. I love that it says that every time. I don't know why that's so charming to me. Alright, this is the one. Wednesday at dawn. Dawn of the... Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Dawn of the fifth day. We're actually trucking along on this one. Uh, okay, what's on our agenda? So, Wednesday is the only day of the week where we have the potential to actually keep all three dates. Every other day of the week the dates, at least two of the dates, are on the same time period. So this is the one time that we can actually, it's a three date day. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna attempt to, to keep our lesbian polycule going. Hey Al, just in time. Uh, Alright, so we have some healing. We had to use some healing, but we've kept a decent amount. Good, we did keep this, so if, if I'm right about remembering what Muffy wants for today, then we have one. Oh yeah, we have lots of healing. Right, 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 because the mushrooms and acorns also restore health damage. So we've got we've got that and that. Wow, we have so much. What we need is bread. What we actually genuinely need is bread. <laughs> I'll have to look into that. Oh, and then there's this. The fish key that we got from the windmill. Of a certain location in... Motif oh, in Kieferberg Village. Okay. Does Endy remember where the fish key goes? Well, there's a fountain and fish like water. Let's start there. Luckily, the game will tell us when uh, each of the, the like dates become available, so we don't have to worry about missing them, which is nice. A lot of nice quality of life things in this game. Hello, crows. Oh, there's so many crows. What is this? What are these crows doing here? Are you alright, Elise? Elise? Is everything alright? Oh, this can't be good. I best hurry. Totally normal. Say, Elise. I've been wondering about that room upstairs. Alright, the cause Granny Hollow's room has been locked this whole time. Granny Hollow's bedroom? What about it? Wouldn't you like me to clean it as well? There's no need. I don't go in there at all. All the more reason to give it a good sweeping. I haven't been in there since she passed, you see. Oh, I'm so sorry, Elise. I, I did mean to... That's alright. In fact, I don't even have the key anymore. 
Interesting. I locked it up the day she passed, and I don't know where I put it. I understand, Elise. I wonder what happened to that key. Knowing myself, I may have thrown it off the peaks. May have thrown it... Okay, off the peaks. Good to know. What's below the peaks? And... We go. More acorns. They're giving us so many health items, I have concerns. What in the Lord's name? What's all this? Oh. I don't think I've ever seen so many crows at once. Come, Rosemarine. We must find out what's going on. Having a room in your house where you don't even know what's in there. It's great when you have a spooky supernatural stuff happening to you. Yeah. Yeah. Something I'd say is worth wondering about, Rosemarine. South Block lost his eye, would you say? I was wondering about that, because the crow also, like, either attacked our eye or went into our eye or something. Well, I've always wondered about that. I suppose he must have gotten injured or... Or been in our same situation previously. Could have been a branch, or he might have fallen, perhaps. It doesn't seem he's in pain, at least. Oh, how I wish I could talk to him. I have so many questions. Such as? Why he followed me, firstly. Your hat's made of hay, that's my best guess. Oh, and I'd asked him his name, too. Isn't it Flock? I was the one who thought of that. It's not really his name. He's a goat, Rosemarine. Why, but he still has his own character, Elise. We're done wondering about useless thing, Rosemarine. Oh, but it's so much fun, isn't it? We are absolutely going to find out that that goat was a person who is cursed to be a goat. The more we talk about it, the more certain I become. We'll be scraping bird poop off the roofs for weeks, Elma. Oh, well, Elise, would you take a look at this nonsense? These crows, I see. All the Kieferberg is thick with the filthy things. I told everyone I'd seen them yesterday, Mrs. Elma. They're a pest, and Lord knows where they've come from. Oh, but they're not dangerous, I'm certain. What are you saying, lass? Of course they are. What is dangerous? I mean, they're clever, but they're not dangerous. You'd best talk some sense into your cousin, Elise. She's clearly not all there, the poor lass. All right, let's go, Rosemarine. Ah, yes. Oh, here we go. Hat made of hay does seem like a potential reason to be followed by a goat. Yeah, I mean... Guido. Somewhere around here, there's bound to be, like, a gathering of a whole bunch of people. Does she ever say Rosemarie's whole name? Uh, if we play our cards right, maybe. Alright, there are the kids. Well, there's one of the kids. There you all are. I'll take good care of it, Father. <sighs> There's nothing to see here, Elise. You'd best head back to town. You were the one who first saw these crows, weren't you, Elise? <laughs> it's not as though you folks believed me when it mattered. I've said it last night, I'll say it again. You're hiding... It matters not, old Yakin. Hmm. We most focus on the matter at hand. We all had our fill of trouble last night, didn't we? We don't need any more yelling, that's for certain. <sighs> now they didn't steal much. They didn't steal that much grain, folks. You know, I. How much did they steal, Mister Gustav? 
about a sack in total. We got here in time to prevent the worst. Darn birds were building a nest in the oven. We got a wheat testament. And now they're building a nest in the oven. Are we making bread? We ought to give it a good scrubbing later. Doesn't seem like they're keen on attacking us, at least. We've locked it up good and trusted Yugen here with the key for now. I appreciate the trust. Of course, especially after all of yesterday's goings on. Because he was stolen from, or because he has no horses to steal the grain with? Who's to stand guard here, then? Mm -hmm. Before we get into that, Bernard, there's something I'd like to say. We're all well aware of what happened last night, however, we ought to stick together, folks. Now more than ever. You heard the man. <laughs> Kieferberg is what we make of it. Don't forget that. I ought to head back to church. Is that Phil feeling better, Father? That's what I'm looking into, Finn. You'd best go with, Lise. Lebkuhn will fill you in, I'm certain. Will do, Mr. Gustav. He actually seems like a decent dude. I was wondering, Elise. Mr. Bernard said the crows were trying to make a nest in the oven. I suppose it's a cozy little nook. I don't see what's so... So there's an oven in the windmill, right? There's always been an oven in the windmill, Rosemary. What's your... Oh, the tender flesh, Elise. Wouldn't this be a good way to prepare it? Making bread out of it, you say? Maybe you could ask about town if they'd let you in. Now that you mentioned... It's rather risky, Rosemary. Uh, but... I suppose, but... I can't think of any other way either. Not if I want to find him. <laughs> it's worth the try, I'd say. Alright, I'll see what I can find out. Time to do a snoop! I'd say they snuck in through the roof, Gustav. When did you realize the crows were in the windmill, Mr. Ludwig? Heinrich came about Heinrich came about to collect some flour this morning. He was the one who gave the alert. So you've locked it up, have you? We must keep those birds out of these, or they'll take all our grain. Mm. Okay. If we say, are you standing here all day, that sounds suspicious. I'm going to say, you could draw them away. Maybe if you scattered some grain elsewhere, Mr. Gustav. Then the windmill could still be available, and... We've thought about that, Elise. Nobody was in favor of wasting any more grain, lass. Ah, you see. We ought to keep a close eye on the windmill, Elise. Oh, that's Gustav, sorry. You can have a word with Yugen, perhaps. No, of course. Alright, well, at least we didn't make anybody suspicious. <laughs> he seems a decent fellow. I hate to kill him. Say, Rosemarine, you know how to sew, don't you? Somewhat, yes. That explains it, I suppose. It explains what? Why the patches on your dress are so clumsy. Wow, Elise, whoa, hang on. We could ask Miss Mariella to help, you know? Oh, but I quite like my dress. That's all right, but I'd say you deserve better. Newer clothes is all. I don't need better, Elise. This is my dress. It's been with me for years now. All these patches and tears mean something to me, you see? What does that moon-shaped one mean, then? Oh, this is from an old blanket of mine. It brings me comfort to have it with me wherever I go. And the squares? Granny patched it for me when I fell off a tree. I can't bring myself to part with it now that she's gone. Fine, you have your reasons. I appreciate the thought, Elise. Okay, so Mr. Yugen has the key. Better days will come, lad. When I'm settled in Primodorf, God willing. Don't make hasty decisions, Yugen. What is it, Elise? Uh, I was wondering about the key. No, we're going to be indirect. I think being indirect, we'll be sly about it. You're rather trusted, Mr. Yugen. With the key to the windmill, even. The last is right, Yugen. It's a shame for you to leave. Nothing I can do about that, folks. There's nothing left for me here in Kieferberg, you see? Still, I think everyone would miss you, Mr. Yugen. 
please reconsider. Now I've made up my mind, but I do appreciate it, Elise. Even this key. I'll only be holding on to it until the evening. Until the evening, Mr. Yugen? It's too much responsibility, Lass. I'm not too comfortable with it in my pocket, I must admit. Why not hand it over to someone else, then? I could take it to Mr. Gustav if you'd like. That's all right, Elise. There's no better place than Keeperberg, lad. There's no better place than Keeperberg, jeez. One day I will learn to read and it'll be the best day ever. Pretty. Hello, crows. Ooh, hang on. A fish. A fish, a fish, a fishy. Oh. The washing well. I suppose this could be it, but it's filled with water. I don't think I can do much about it right now. Alright, so if I try to use this. Oh. Do I have to wait till it's drained? Wait till the strained. All right, but I think that's where we go. Right, we're still. All right, we go to church. God, it's just so many crows. go. Oh, it's your time. Hello, everyone. Ah, it's nice to see you, Elise. I've heard about Ap- You've heard about Apple, I assume. No, I haven't. Apple was very ill last night, Elise. He had a very high fever. He was delirious. Oh, the poor lad. I can't bear looking at his little hands. What about them, Mrs. Dorothea? It's best you hear it from me, Elise, so you get the real story. You've been up all night, Lizbeth. We can tell her. Apple is fine now, as you can see, but last night he... I was woken by him moaning, speaking nonsense. His fever was boiling him alive. I... We, for, we called for Father Hans and brought him to church, but Apple had never been so ill. I thought I'd lose him. He wasn't all there, either. He kept mumbling to himself, and I... I don't know how, but his hands are injured. It's horrifying, and they were so bloody. It's as if they were pecked at by something. I can't explain it. <sighs> Please, collect yourself, Mrs. Lisbeth. <sighs> That's right, Mrs. Lisbeth. Take deep breaths. At first I thought he'd caught the goat's sickness somehow, but that doesn't explain his hands or what happened to my goats. Oh, this is my disgrace. It's all right, Mrs. Lisbeth. We're all here for you. It's all right. You know, I... What about the goats? Give <laughs> It must have happened while we were praying it for... Well, eh. It must have happened while we were praying for Apple in church. I keep wanting to say Apple instead of Apple. The, the F, it keeps throwing me off. When Mrs. Lisbeth went in, went to fetch him dry clothes, she happened upon two of her goats lying on the ground. They'd bled to death. Their tongues had been ripped out, and their heads were severed too. Mm -hmm. You can rest assured we'll help you, Mrs. Lisbeth. Shall arrange for a doctor to come as soon as possible. What am I to do with one sick goat, Father? We'll make certain you and the children don't go without, Mrs. Elizabeth. You're welcome to have supper with Finn and I any time, Elizabeth. Thank you, but I, I don't have strength, Dorothea. Hmm. Mrs. Dorothea will be looking after Apple, Mrs. Elizabeth. You best go home and rest for the day. Of course, Father. Thank you. Mm. Come, I'll walk with you and Apple home. I'm sorry, I... This is awful, Elise. Mm. I'll pay them a visit later.
That doesn't sound like sickness. Those goats are very sick. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's one thing after another, isn't it? First things first. I'm gonna figure out how I'm going to get my hands on that key. You look awful, Lepkun. It's no wonder, is it? Seeing Apple so well has me has had me worrying about him all night. Mrs. Lisbeth said she was said he was mumbling to himself. He's having convulsions, speaking of the witch, too. Sounds like he's been listening to too much of old Yaka nonsense, that's what. I think so too. What about Apple's hands? What was that about? I'd say he did that to himself. He was gripping his fist the entire time, so... Say, Lepkuen... But this is about last night, Elise. What else would it be about? I'm, I'm worried about you. They gave me a lecture, is all. Mr. Gustav was very supportive of me, but Father Hans, he... Oh, that old geezer better not have... Father Hans isn't all there either, Elise. What do you mean, isn't all there? Well, Jakin's very much convinced you saw those crows for a reason, and Father Hans is starting to believe him, I think. Oh, for goodness sake. Be careful, Elise. There's only so much I can do for you. Well, if Father Hans has been writing the notes, then... Yeah, I can understand why he's suspicious of the supernatural. So we have... Alright, Rosamarine wants to meet us at the viewpoint. First, let's see if there's anything more we can do to ingratiate ourselves with the townsfolk. In the meantime, I'm just going to keep muscling up these crows. Because it's funny. Yeah. I'm not to be doing tasks. Has the water been drained yet? No, water is the same. No one here but these sleepy cats, but let the cats sleep. Very unlike me, I know. We have uh, $18 to our name, which isn't great, considering that we are kind of low on food. He's not letting it go until this evening, but there's nothing more I can do, I suppose. I suppose I'll try talking to him later. Okay, cool. That taken care of. Anything changed up here? No, okay. The all are standing guard. Alright, so they'll be there in the evening. Alright, so we might be clear. We might have done as much as we can to set up for windmill times. For windmill slam. Ooh, hang on. This could be... This could be big. This could be big. Hang on. Ludwig, what do you need? Ah, there you are, Elise. You seem troubled, Mr. Ludwig. Oh, Kieferberg's troubled, lass. Now, can you do me a favor? Bertha and I are thinking of spending a week in Primodorf after the festival. In Primodorf, Mr. Ludwig? My daughter has been insisting we visit, you see? Seeing our grandchildren would be good for Bertha, too. Why don't you visit more often, Mr. Ludwig? It's such a long way to Primodorf. Really not that far away. Do me a favor, would you, Elise? Go ask Finn if he can look after my cabbages while I'm away. My cabbages? Sorry, I had to. Your cabbages, Mr. Ludwig? They need daily tending to, and these crows aren't helping. But tell him he can't simply beat them with a hoe, you hear? The cabbages or the crows? Why would he do such a thing? The young lads are lazy, that's why. Alright, we gotta find Finn. So the reason this will help is that side quests tend to give rewards without costing time. And time is the thing that we're short on. If we can get a reward that we can sell for money, this could be a saving grace. I just gotta find Finn. Uh, that's not Finn. That is Freya, though. Hi, Freya. We'll see you later. Uh, is Finn... We know, we, we know he's not at the wishing well. Or the fish well. The fishing well. Don't... I think he was up here. This is where the cabbages are. Let's 
Let's just scour this place a little better. Are we in the stables? You are in the stables! Nailed it. Hey, Finn. Say, Mr. Finn, I was talking to Mr. Ludwig and... Not the cabbages. Huh? He asked you to ask me to look after his cabbages. I know all about it, Lass. He's losing his mind. What? That man is obsessed with his cabbages. <laughs> it is the Avatar guy. He's been hounding me about them since yesterday. Well, all right, but what do I tell him, Mr. Finn? I'll do it, I'll do it. Whatever it takes to stop hearing about these wretched cabbages. Neat, all right, done and done. Glad we checked those tables. There's not usually anybody in there. See what we get. We also haven't gotten the uh, the Muffy sound effect, so we haven't missed her at least. Bring good news, I'm certain. Mr. Finn said to leave it to him, Mr. Libig. Add a girl, Elise. I'm not the one looking after your cabbages, Mr. Libig. You still did me a favor, didn't you? For your trouble. Ah? Huh? Spiced bursts. What does that do? You didn't have to, Mr. Ludwig, but thank you. I best go tell Bertha our cabbages will be in good hands. Yeah, phrase it just like that. I'm sure it'll not be taken the wrong way at all. This space first. It's more healing. Damn it. <laughs> I need food. I need hunger food, not healing food. Maybe we can sell the worst. You know, worst case. All right. To the viewpoint. Fine, I shouldn't look a gift versed in the mess. Versed is food, but it's food that restores hearts and not uh it doesn't address hunger. You can see that it's it just it's extremely good for healing. Like if we're damaged, it does more than half of our health bar in one go, which is great. But like we also have a whole bunch of healing, and a whole bunch of heal. We are stuck to the gills on healing. What we need is stuff that gives us, that that uh, uh, abates hunger. We don't have that. Uh, that's the wrong button again. Granny! Hi. All right, we have $15. Did we have anything to sell? Other than this first. <laughs> Uh, we could do the thing I literally just said and sell the burst and and use the money to buy a thing. That's not a terrible idea. It's actually not a terrible idea. Okay, hang on. I think this through. Okay, we're going to sell this. Yeah, we're going to sell that. And now we have 30 bucks to buy a second one of these. Yes, okay, all right. Now we have one to give to Muffy, and one to eat for ourselves. Perfect. There. there we've made it work for us. <laughs> right, viewpoint is where the windmill is, I think. Yes, because that's where we met Frey on day one. I jump there. I know sausage makes me less hungry, right? You would think. And yet, you point. There she is. Hello. Oh, good. And Flock is here also. Flock. Speaking of whom, Flock. For goodness. That goat is gonna eat every flower on this hill, and you know what? I'm happy for him. You and that goat of yours, Rosemary. Oh, Elise. Oh, Elise, there's no need to be jealous. Rosemarine! I'm not jealous of a goat, you... <laughs> Isn't she, Flock? <laughs> the goat knows too much. Huh. How would you like to sleep with him out in the granary, Rosemary? Uh... I'd have Flock to hold close. I wouldn't be cold at all. <laughs> she has an answer for everything. Why, you... Ah, oh, Flock, don't get so close to the edge. 
You be careful too, Rosemarine. You can see everything from here, can't you? I suppose. Are you alright, Elise? Something's on your mind, Elise. I can tell. Can't even be left to brood in peace, can I? You're going through some changes, that's all. <laughs> Good, it's time to have this conversation. Some changes, you say. Your path will become clearer and clearer. You'll see. Hang on. Aren't you a little too cheery? For goodness sake. Almost feels like you're mocking me, Rosemarine. <laughs> Come now, Elise. Give me your hands. You're gonna get a palm reading? Rosemarine! Rosemarine, what are you... <laughs> Aww. Okay, much better. Let's dance, Elise. Going too fast, Rosemarine. In more ways than one. We're approaching the full moon, Elise. You know what that means? <gasps> How would I know such a thing? It's time to celebrate new beginnings. I'm here for you. A new beginning. Together. For goodness sake! What new beginning, Rosemarine? You're not making sense. <laughs> Why are you following your dreams, Elise? The fulfillment of my purpose, too. Everything's coming together just the way the stars told me it would. Rose and Marine! <laughs> we ought to celebrate our good fortune, Elise. Wait! Wait, Rose Marine, you're spinning too fast. I... Oh, there she goes. Elise. You alright, Elise? For goodness sake! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't think. I used to dance with Granny like this every month, and I. You swung your granny around like this? Uh, of course! Every month! You're truly... Whether you believe me or not, Elise, let me put it this way. You see that castle in the distance, don't you? That's the one from our dreams. Yes? It may seem far away from where you stand now, but... The stars are even further away. But they still guided me to you, didn't they? Rosemarine. Are there any other places with pretty views in Kieferberg? Hmm. I suppose the windmill's not bad. Oh, the the other windmill. Will you meet me there tomorrow afternoon then? I see. A new beginning together, she says. I'm sorry, I... Elise? Huh. I'll be there, Rosemarine. You best head back now. Uh, yes. Ha, yes. Hooray! That moves us into afternoon! Delightful. But first, we have a honey cake. To save point. We've got about five minutes or so before ends. Gonna get us to a save point and then we'll go to our break. That cave still hasn't opened back up. There was something in there when we ran out. Hoping we find a way back in there. There we go. Perfect. Alright. We'll leave Elise here for just a moment. Hang on, let's... Uh, okay, cool. And we'll then we'll meet Lebkuin by the bakery. Be our next port of call. Uh, but first... We're going to go... Excuse me, first I'm going to burp. And then we're going to go to our break. <laughs> so, stand up, stretch, do whatever you need to do to take care of you. Uh, and we'll be back here in just a few minutes. Uh, and I will hope to see you all then as we will continue this lovely Wednesday with uh, whatever adventures uh, find their way, if, if find their way here. See you then.
second. We're back. Oh, a good stretch. Oh. Okay. All right. One last quick check through town now that we've changed the time of day. I love we'll be back. I think there's only one side quest per day. That should be all right. I think we've got enough food to last us for the day. Should be fine. Oop. Muppy sign. There she is. Muppy. It's you! All right, let's see if I remembered right. For goodness sake! That's enough. I'm not giving you one more crumb. Ooh. But you promised. You promised me some love going. Well, yeah, but I have a date with her, like, right now. I promise you nothing, Mercy. <laughs> now you're an Overwatch character. How would you like that? Folks already think it's strange, Elise. You knew about the crows since yesterday. You know what? Why don't you go ahead? Who's to believe a scrawny little squealer like you, anyhow? Oh, Yakin does, Elise. Mr. Odley does, too. Or, uh, Mrs. Odley, pardon me. Oh, do they? What are you telling them, then? That I saw you talking to those crows yesterday. There was a golden one, too, wasn't there? You little... You could have backed me up. Muffy. Why, you... <laughs> following you about town is truly so much fun, Elise. <laughs> I just know you have the lip coon you promised me tucked away somewhere. We do? We also have, like, zero suspicion. And we're very low on food, and we're going to be spending all day on dates, so... What do y'all think? We could just... We could just keep this. Tell Muffy to stuff it. Take the suspicion hit. And hang on to the food for later when we need it. I'm kind of leaning towards that. I'm kind of leaning towards we just hang on to this. And take the hit. Do you want to play it safe? Or do we want to keep the do we want to keep the honey cake? For reasons I do not feel like analyzing. All right, go on. Unless that was a, unless that was a follow on from earlier, in which case, very funny already. I'm surprised there are no jar. <laughs> That's funny to me for an entirely unrelated reason. What happens if you're too hungry and can't eat? You get a game over. If we get to, to zero hunger, um, zero hunger, zero health, if our blue courage bar gets to zero, any of those. We can get to zero money. That's the only meter we can run out on and be fine. Um, but if we run out of anything else. Uh, every time a uh, time period passes and there are six in a day, we lose one bread. So we're essentially going through six of our five every day. Um, and we get two free bread every night if we stop by and see Lepkuen, which is nice. Uh, but otherwise, we're... And, like, we just topped up, which is good. So we're going to go through... Let's see, it's afternoon. So we're going to go through uh, afternoon, evening, dusk, and witching hours. We're, we're going to get four more hits by the end of the day. Uh, you have minus two for the bread. So... My vote for my vote my vote would be if you have not denied her a bribe yet before, don't do it now, but if you have, then keep the cookies. I we missed the very first one because I didn't keep any bread. We gave her something. We gave her grapes, but we haven't denied her a bribe, we just gave her the wrong thing. You need that food more than you need Muffy to stay quiet. That's kind of where I'm leaning. Like mathematically, I think I need the food more. Because right now we're at 0 out of 10 on the suspicion scale. So right now we're kind of we're kind of on a split vote. I think I'm going to go ahead and keep. I think we're going to go ahead and keep and we're just going to... We're going to leave. Out with it. Off with you, Mandy. Not giving you anything. Now leave. Ooh. But you promised. You promised, dude. That's so Why don't you tell them then? Oh, but I will. I'll tell them at least. And you saw me speaking to some birds? 
It's that they believe you. I'll tell them what you said, too. Is that so? What did I say, then? Uh, uh, you, you said that, uh, you... Out of my sight, Molly. Bring me some hearty soup tomorrow, or else... Or else what, you little... Oh! That was more than I thought. That was three. Okay, that's fine. It's it's fine. That's we can we can come back from this. We just saved. It's fine. Should have given her what she wanted, but all right. We need hearty soup tomorrow. Ah, oh, to hell with it. All right, so we just need to we just need to work at least once tomorrow and get enough for hearty soup. That's fine. We can do that. We've been S ranking all of the games. We'll totally be able to afford hearty soup. Oof. Three. I did not expect three. That's a third of our bar. I mean, it's better than, like, starving, obviously. But still, oof. Uh, yeah, so if we do bribe her, suspicion also goes down. What I don't know is if it goes down by the same amount. Like, if we'd had three suspicion and we gave her a Lebku, and I don't know if we would have lost three. Take, and it's just, it's just gonna take a look. Uh, so, like, you know, if we have the hearty soup tomorrow, we'll lose at least one. Maybe two. So, like, we're probably okay. We're probably fine. I think I remember this scene, so I'm gonna stop here for a second. It's rather tricky now that we don't have Yugen's horses. Mm. You can lend us a hand, Freya. Elise! Oh, Elise, won't you tell Papa to stop before he... Huh? <laughs> Freya's as strong as I am, believe it or not. Papa? Papa? Looking rather flustered, aren't you, Freya? Because he makes it sound as if I'm a... I'd say it's an asset, not a fault, Freya. <laughs> I'm not that strong, anyhow. I must say I'm curious to see that now, lass. Don't pressure her, Heinrich. Wait, really? Oh, but even I would like to see how strong she is. All right, all right. It's only because Elise wanted to see it. Oh, there she goes. How's this, then? <laughs> I can't believe it. Gustav weighs as much as a horse, but look at that! She barely broke a sweat, too. Atta girl. That's my daughter. a girl, Freya. Papa. Papa, not in front of Elise, too. Huh? This is the kind of cheer Keeper Bird needs. Truly, I'm tired of hearing about this witch. No witch, only strong women. It's good German town. Save this in a different slot. Let's see if remember. Okay, ten was before we chose to deny Muffy. So absolute worst case, we'll come back to that. This is why they give you twenty save slots. It's because there are many fail states, and we've been lucky so far that we haven't found any, which I'm very glad for. My first play through this game, I was not so lucky. I found many game overs. <laughs> Thank you, veteran. Wonderful quote that. Remembering Major Armstrong's sister lifting a piano with one arm? Yes! Yeah! <laughs> well, we can share a, We can split a Lebkuhn with Lebkuhn. Lebkuhn? Yes, that's what I said, Elise. Mm -hmm. I'm all ears, Elise, but make it quick. Mm. You're not making this any easier, are you? <laughs> Wouldn't say it's supposed to be easy, Elise. You know, I... Lebkuhn, I'm... I'm truly sorry about what happened yesterday. For all the trouble you went through afterward, too. <laughs> That's alright, Elise. I forgive you. Huh? More importantly, won't you lend me a hand? <laughs> On the swing, I mean. You're not being fair, Leb. I... 
Why won't you let me apologize? Uh. Why? Haven't you already? For goodness sake. Properly, Lebkuen. You can't just say you forgive me. I wonder. I'm, I'm fairly certain I can, Elise. I haven't even done anything to... You keeping me company every day is more than enough, I'd say. Come on, give me a push, will you? Mm. You're truly... <laughs> there they go. Push harder, Elise. No, I... I'll make it up to you, Leb. I promise I will. Oh, Elise. Do you remember what you did to my shoes that time, Elise? For goodness sake. Oh, don't start with those stories. <laughs> Using old Wilhelm's saw to take out the heels? Look. I thought they were hurting you. All you ever did was stand all day. Or that night you broke into my that night you broke my bedroom window with a rock? It, you. I was trying to call you outside, Leb. <laughs> I also hid all my veils and habits in the abandoned house once. Uh. I never liked you having to wear all that nonsense. Hmm. Gay, gay, homosexual gay. Sorry. <laughs> That's true, you never did. <laughs> oh, remember that one time you I remember it all, Lebko, and embarrassing quit embarrassing me. That's why I'm so upset, Leb. All I ever seem to do is get you in trouble. That's true. You've always been a bit of a nuisance. It took you long enough to... Who wouldn't have it any other way? I care about you, Elise. You know that by now. I know that, but... Come now. I've been telling you that I... I care about you just as much, Leb Kuen. I said I get flustered about you. Say, I'll be home tomorrow morning to lend a hand. I'll be there, Lev. <laughs> all right, but you can't steal all the filling again. For goodness I was six years old, Lev Kuhn. <laughs> Lev Kuhn? Wait right there, you... The girl has an incredible memory. He's in the little chaos gremlin. I mean, when you've been childhood friends with somebody, and you just remember, like, all of the shit you got up to. <laughs> Alright, and then, ah, at the inn, got it. Alright, first and foremost, one last run through town. I know, nothing new. But hey, so far so good. The day of the triple date is going well. Get away from the apples. Leave those alone. Right, there's Freya. Good. Still water in the thing. I don't like that the music cuts out on that screen. It's a little distressing. One last check on the windmill. Anybody over here? Nope. All right. Yugen is still there. Won't give us the key yet. That's fine. They're still standing guard. Okay. Were there always this many crows in town? No. No, in fact, there were basically never. The first day, or, or I guess the... Yeah, the first day that we could come to town there were branches everywhere, which initially I think was just kind of a uh, a reason to cut off the other areas, but it was because there had been like a windstorm, apparently. Which was what had everybody in a tizzy because it had knocked down a whole bunch of stuff. So first it was like essentially the woods literally encroaching on the town. Um, and now after we met the crow, now the crows are encroaching on the town. So every time we, we essentially meet someone, their influence spreads over the town. Which I think is kind of interesting. Alright. We cannot advance. I think I think we've done all we can. I hope we've done all we can on the windmill thing to be able to get access later to make our bread. <laughs> yeah. 
enjoying yourself, are you? Elise! Oh, Elise! <sighs> I'm so glad you're here. I'm just losing my wits. Now that you mention it... Mrs. Vilma's gonna be giving you a hard time, I wager. <laughs> I don't want to be mean, but she can be a little pushy. Huh. Ill-bred and ungrateful, that's what she is. Oh. Elise! I hope Kieferberg would agree with me, and you know it. Sit now. Let's stop talking about Miss Vilma for a moment. <sighs> you put up with too much of these folks' as nonsense, Freya. Hmm. I don't have much of a choice, the way I see it. Yes, you do, Freya. Folks have always praised me left and right, Elise. Can't help but feel I ought to live up to their expectations. Huh? You don't have to live up to anything. You know that. I know. You wouldn't understand, Elise. Huh? <laughs> Daisies truly do suit you do truly do suit you best, don't they? For goodness sake. You keep avoiding this subject, Freya. <laughs> Not on purpose. It very much is, Freya. You know what, I know it. I know. I've always been ashamed of what I did, Elise. Murder! I don't know. It's all right, Freya. It's in the past. Folks keep pitting us against each other when we... folks kept pitting us against each other when we were children, and I. <clears throat> oh, Elise, I ought to confess. <laughs> huh? <laughs> that face. <laughs> <laughs> the eggs you picked for Mrs. Bertha that day, I broke them. I broke them on purpose. <laughs> Freya. I made a mess of her laundry that day, and I was so afraid I... I had her give you an earful instead so she'd forget about me. For goodness sake. For goodness sake. Uh, I'm, I'm so, so sorry, Elise. I did so many bad things back then. Blaming you for my blunders, getting you in trouble at every chance. Telling the townsfolk you weren't capable so they'd ask for me, and... I see. I said it's alright, Freya. I didn't understand how he felt back then either, so I. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh. ho ho ho! Mm hmm. For goodness sake! Goodness sake! I don't hold any of that against you. Hmm. Then, when you said I was overcompensating, I. I know. I understand, Freya. I know how you feel now, all right? Please. Things are different now, aren't they? We've been spending more time together, being honest with each other. Elise, I like being your friend, Freya. Let's put it all behind and. Oh. Yep. <laughs> well, Elise. Oh. Oh, it's wonderful. I love spending time with you too. I've always wanted to get close to you. <laughs> Freya, can't breathe. <laughs> the the actual like snapped bone in the corner is amazing. Now that we're truly friends, I, I am truly so... Oh, I'm so happy. I ought to have said all this a lot sooner. Freya, dearie, how are the reeds coming along? Ah, it's Mrs. Vilma. Wow, oh, are you so strong. Before I go, Elise... I'll be home all afternoon tomorrow. I'll... I'll be there. Freya? I'm coming, Mrs. Vilma. Goodness sake. I think I'd better sit down a moment. <laughs> oh no, Freya's an overachiever. And a recovered Cinder, eh? Yeah, going from the scene of her, like, effortlessly lifting her papa, and then, uh, just a full-body hug, and it's like, ah, well, I hope, I hope Elise wasn't using that spine. Alright, well, that's, that's, that's just the whole, that's just the whole day. Success! We've done it, everyone. Good job. Proud of us. Right, we will go ahead and say there. Nighttime. 
just let's just have a look. Lisa's mind is powerful. She's an incredibly hardworking person. Like we know that she's also like somewhat anime powered, what with being able to you know kick an anvil to space. So it probably balances out. Just, just, just take a, just take a look. Oh, all right. Hang on. The soundscape has changed here. That could be very good. That could mean something. Ah, uh, oop. Ghost. I like your hair feathers. Another one, I see. Huh? Say, what is it you're meeting him for? I don't think that's any of your business. Let me tell you something, then. Forsake all you think you know about yourself. What do you mean? There's no amount of determination that can save you from him. Once you're in those woods, once you go through that door... What? You'll be left with nothing but harrowing regret. What are you te Why are you telling me all this? Oh. After strudel! <gasps> we should have just we should have waited we should have we should we should damn it well it's fine it's fine it's fine it's oh 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 it's unguarded we don't have a key we don't have a key okay got it but it's unguarded now okay so now we need to find mr yugen we haven't gotten the free bread from so we went from like not having nearly enough uh uh food that sates hunger to uh, an overabundance. Right, before we leave town, just as long as we're here, as long as we're here, one last. This is almost certainly not going to change until tomorrow. Okay, it didn't. That's what I thought. Had to check. Had to check the fish well just to see. I bet that empties tomorrow. Back here. Apple strudel, very good. See Leb. Oh, we're gonna get accosted. Wait, Elise. They're gonna talk to us about Rosemary being weird in town. There you are, Lassie. Huh? We need to have a word with you, Elise. Word with me, you say? Okay. Um, it's suddenly very important that we not mess this up, and I don't remember what the answers are. Your cousin's been going about town spreading nonsense, Elise. Such as? Why, saying the crows are nothing to fret about, for instance. She's a kind soul, Mrs. Elma. That, that seems safe, right? Yeah. She isn't afraid of any animals. On the contrary. I see how that might be true, Elise, but still. Okay, I think we're okay. We're to be wary of such things, not make little of them. I understand, Mrs. Elma. But that's not all, Lass. She's been asking about Alphil's fever, you see. She's a worrier, Mr. Ludwig. Everyone's worried about Alphil. Why wouldn't she be? Well, that's a fair point, Elise. I don't think there's any point in making too much of things, Mr. Elma. Uh, Mrs. Elma. This is dangerous. I ought to make certain I bring Rosemarine to work with me. We didn't go to work today. I have to deal with this every day. Okay, all right, cool, 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 cool. We could have gotten up to five on that. That would have sucked. Hi, Muffy. Eek! Oh, please, Elise, don't tell my auntie. What in the Lord's name are you doing out here, Melly? I've had it with her, Elise. She always wants me working all day. Perhaps she needs her help, Mindy. She only likes me when I'm working. Why do you think I'm always sneaking about town? Hmm. Not too certain I believe you. Collie, Elise. I was hoping you'd understand. It's not that I don't, but... You won't tell my auntie, will you? Not after what you've just told me, no. Still, you best not try your patience too much, you hear? Oh, Elise. Since you like me so much, won't you give me some... For goodness sake, Miffy. That'd be funny if that was the second chance to give her the blackmail. I know, Elise. I haven't said anything yet, have I? You don't have to, Elise. 
am I to do with you, Lepkulin? At least tell me you'll get a good night's sleep tonight. If nobody else breaks into a fever, I might. Here's your bread, Elise. We're going to devour it immediately. What's on your mind, Lepkulin? Things that would upset you, Elise. I'm not certain you trust me at all. I trust you enough not to ask about it. You keep coming back to this, Lep. If there's... I meant it, Elise. You don't have to tell me. Whatever it is you can't tell me, I won't pry. You trust me that much, huh? Even if you truly were the witch. Lep Kuen! I mean it, Elise. I trust you'll tell me, in time, whenever you're ready. You're truly tired. For someone who's so attentive to others, Lep Kuen, you're not... I'll see you about town tomorrow. For goodness sake, you're so stubborn. I said we're going to eat it immediately, but actually if we wait one more time period, we can just have the honey cake that I saved. And then we'll be good to go. Elise! Elise, come quick! What's the matter, Jakob? It's Apple. He's gone missing! That's... Bad. What? Oh, please come quick, Elise. Muffy's still out here extorting us while we're keeping her secrets for her. Yeah. Yeah. I don't regret it. We must go and look for him. That's right. We can't sit about waiting forever. You know, I... What's going on here? Ethel's gone missing, Elise. <sighs> Hopefully the lads will find him on their patrol. It will happen upon him, I'm certain. They don't know he's missing, father. <laughs> By the time they're back, my poor boy could have... Mama? We all need to remain calm. Calm, father? My boy is missing! Lord knows if he's alright, let alone if the worst has happened. We all knew those crows were an omen! With it. Not this again, you old wretch. Ought to have taken the lad to the witch. What a horrible thing to say, old Yakin. You old geezer. You truly have no decency. You. That's enough. We cannot give in to hysteria, brethren. Oh, to think the lads went out in search of crows. The crows were a threat, lass. Oh, that's it. I'm going looking for him myself. I'll go. Let me be the one to go, Mrs. Lisbeth. Mm. It's best we wait for the lads. I can't allow... Oh, will you really, Elise? Now there's a brave lass. Oh, but Father Hans is right. It's dangerous. Leave it to me, Mrs. Lisbeth. Oh, Elise. Hm. I do not condone your disobedience, Elise. Get stopped. I do. Yeah. Let's go. I need you to go, Elise, for Angelica's sake as well. Truly, the poor lass can't be without a mother. We can lend a hand with whatever you need, Elise. Do you have extra bread? You'd make certain you have enough food and matches, dear. Okay, but literally, though. I'll be here, Elise. Let me know when you're leaving. Why do they need Elise specifically? So, apparently, the deal is that all the menfolk are out of town because they went searching for crows, I guess? Um, but they don't know that Apfel has gone missing. So, if there's to be a second search party, uh, it would have to be, you know, some of the women in town. Uh, and the only person who is volunteering for the job, other than Apfel's own mother, who obviously is distressed, and would otherwise be potentially leaving her young daughter all alone if something were to happen to her, uh, is obviously not a great volunteer for this, so at least volunteered in her stead. Uh, and uh, is, is yeah, is, is going to go be a big damn hero. Oh, I'm certain he's all right, dearie. I can only hope you're right, Mrs. Mariella. We must keep a positive outlook, Mrs. Lisbeth. I thought you didn't condone my disobedience, Father. 
My duty is to care for my brethren's well-being, Elise. You ought to be aware it is dangerous. The last couldn't bear the thought, Father. We can't leave Apple roaming the woods all by himself. Lord knows how sick he was yesterday. If that fever were to strike him in those woods... I'll make certain I find him, Mrs. Lisbeth. I appreciate it, Elise. But if you find it's too dangerous... Elise will find him, Lisbeth. We must trust the last. Here you go, Elise. Please be careful. <gasps> Ointment. Thank you, Mrs. Lisbeth. We'll make certain to send the lads after you when they arrive. Don't wander off too far, you hear? Thank you, Elise. Let's go be heroes! Goodbye. Okay, There's plenty of crows right there! Yeah, why did they have to go searching? I'm guessing they went in search of, like, the source of the crows, maybe? Or some such nonsense? I don't know. I hope he's not as sick as the goats. Certainly not sick in the same way. Uh, we're gonna take a wild guess that he's in the woods. Because it seems like that kind of sickness. <laughs> so, that's where we're going. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Hey, look, there's stuff here. We are just chock a bock full of healing items. They're looking for the crows in the bar. <laughs> I mean, nope, none here. We should, we should, we should stay in case they show up. The S crow, very good. All right, well, uh, now that we're down three bread. Perfect. I appreciate that the woods have maintained the same demeanor as the last time that we came here, because the first two times that we came, they had completely changed. Here I am again. <laughs> oh shit, here we go again. I ought to find Apfel and fast. Ten minutes? Alright. Ten minutes to do a rescue. Captioning rendered what you said as chocolate full of healing items. I don't expect the captions to necessarily know the phrase chocobock. Uh, given that I think it's a, a fairly localized English phrase. I think the southernism that comes from it is chuckful. Ooh, new pathway. Shortcut unlocked. That crow is trying to tell me something, I suppose. Came up with Chuck a Buck, which yeah, it's is is I think from the same source. We're back in the arcane sanctum. Yes, that's exactly what this is. What is this? This isn't where I was yesterday, is it? Elise, a bridge literally materialized in front of you and you took it. Of course this is not where we were yesterday. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. We'll find a bonfire and then we can fast travel back. Apfel? Apfel, can you hear me? I'm finally getting your name right. You should maybe respond. I have to find him. Goodness knows what could have happened to him by now. She didn't take the bridge and stayed right there. Uh, the radius of our light get tighter? Don't love that. Mosaic slab. Okay, last time we got crow slabs. What's this thing? A tile? Oh, hey, it's the... It's the... the It's the bad corn. The bad corn would have the assassin crows in them. Ghost. We don't have any courage juice. It's fine. We should probably not talk to too many ghosts. Ignorance is bliss. Has nobody ever told you that? Plenty of times, I suppose. To be unable to grasp how fortunate we are until it's too late. Charmingly tragic, isn't it? I don't see what's so charming about it. You'll come face to face with it, too. The ruinous grief of your biggest, heaviest regret. What's yours, then? The same as yours? We all share the same penitence. Talking to girls like this is never a very pleasant experience, is it? Ooh! 
Ooh. Got a rosary. That's probably not great. Keep hitting Y to interact. But it's A. Right, same thing. What is this, a tile? It's still a tile. It was last time, too. Ooh, a jar. The door is a jar. Where he comes. Okay, got it. Can we... There. This wall, it's a mosaic. It's missing pieces, isn't it? Missing pieces! Missing pieces! That's what I said. Thank you very much. Aha. Uh -huh. If I go to Atem, can I put the ones that are here? Yes, I can. Okay. I think we only need one more then. Because there's got to be room to, like... Got to be room to slide. So is it just this one? Tile? Yeah! Another one. How many of these are there? Let's go a little further and just see what we see. A corn. Mesh. Matches. Perfect. Oh, what a haul. Okay. Save. Let's do a tile puzzle. Here. Let's see if I'm correct. Maybe we can sell some acorns for dollars. Oh yeah, actually that's a good point. Don't quite have time to wonder about this, do I? I should move along and find Apfel. She's a witless! She's a witless! Why, you little... Alright. This is a roof. Alright, this one is going to be bottom left. So bad at these. Okay, that those are clouds. Be up there. That's gonna be that, that needs to stay up top. So you need to be there, and I think you need to be there. I don't see a third one here, so I think this is gonna be the empty one. I think you need to switch. I think you two are good, so you need to be there and you need to be there is the deal. So if we do like Once upon a time I knew how to do these, but it's been too long. Alright, so gotta kind of like wang them out of order. Put them back into place. Alright, that's the top row. Uh, oh, is that it? Yes! Okay. That's how we do it. Told you I used to know how to do this. <laughs> this is my house? No, it can't be. I'm imagining things. I don't have time for this nonsense. How to... How to find that, fell. I think that's actually a pretty perfect place to stop. There, 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 and there. All right. Neat. What lovely timing. Ending on a puzzle solution? It feels very good. Feels feels rare. But you know what? I'll take it. The Japanese crows shouting, Ahu! <laughs> Uh, cool. Yeah, that's that's where we'll go ahead and leave it. We have we have found a tile puzzle showing Elise her own house deep in the the woods. A child is missing. We're gonna do a rescue, uh, and then or have a baby feast. Or have a baby feast, and if we do a rescue, maybe the townsfolk will stop being so suspicious of us, even stop. though even though we denied Muffy her her, her honey cake. Um, and if not, we need to get. And, and, and like, uh, hearty soup for tomorrow. Uh, but that'll be for Thursday. Uh, that's all for the Monday stream. Uh, need to zoom in on the tile puzzle to see whether the tapestry is a unicorn or not. That's a great point going through the window. Zoom in and hence. Um, 
thank you all so much for coming and hanging out. This was a lot of fun. Uh, I'm like, I'm happy that we got through triple date day and uh, we're, we're successful all the way down. Um, that one actually went went very well. Um, the next dream is back to being horror. So you know, it's uh, we gotta we gotta we gotta take these we gotta take these lighthearted ones where we can get them. Because um, uh, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be more of this nonsense next time out. Uh, which you know, it's it's also let's let's be honest. I like both. I like both. Um, if you've if you've been fans of the channel for a while, you know that by now. Be sure to check out our full stream team schedule at schedule.truck.community uh, to see what uh, all of our, our team streamers are up to uh, on what days at what times with links to their respective channels all in one handy little website. Uh, I don't know if uh, if September or uh, I think it was Remy in July. Uh, we're going to be trying to do potentially the finals or something new, but I know that uh, Cox Communications has been a real motherfucker of an ISP lately, so they may be uh, giving a miss uh, to their stream tonight. Uh, we'll keep an eye out uh, and uh, send a host their way here in just a bit if that ends up going off. Uh, and if not, uh, if you got a second, send some love their way, because I don't know that's some rough stuff to deal with. Uh, if you've if you've ever had internet problems, you know it's not fun. So uh, yeah, uh, but that's gonna be it from us for now. We'll be back with more of this on Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern, and obviously the schedule has the rest. So uh, I hope you'll have a lovely week, and we'll hope to see you next time. Good night.